Alright, what is going on, lovely people? You are about to see a very quick, rapid preview. Eventually, I do want to start kind of doing matches with each of them. So far, I've built three decks. Um, and I'm still, you know, obviously interested in doing more. But I'm going through all the challenge decks to try to unlock basically all of the cards. Like, all of the cards that I don't have. Because, amusingly... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just get into this and I'll talk about this afterwards. So, I just wanted to show this. You can see in the bottom right, this is turn two. This is my very first turn. And I want to show you what this deck is capable of and what is about to happen. And it is going to be some dirtiness. So let me make sure I do this in the correct order here. So first we special summon this dude, right? Doesn't take our summon away because it's a special summon. So we just get that shit. Next, we special summon this guy. Put him out there. Now we got him rocking for us. And now we can just pop this. Like, it doesn't really matter, but it's a max of two Bushido counters anyway. So it's kind of irrelevant but those don't help us at all so now we bring in this guy what does he allow us to do nate i'm glad you asked he lets me bring in any level four or lower uh six sam i'm actually not sure if it's it is okay it is uh restricted to six samurai any level four or lower six samurai monster now you can see this guy right here is a tuner so, we're going to come over here, and we are going to summon another six samurai called Shien. Who is going to give us significantly more offensive power than what those two cards gave us. The other beneficial effect to him is that he actually, uh, once every turn, you can negate an activation of a spell or trap card. Uh, either one, which is fantastic and awesome, and I love it. But that's not the point right now. The point right now, I'm actually, am I going to be able to one? I am going to be able to, that, the point is... I'm going to be able to one-shot Miss Taya Gardner because she brought out this dude turn one and it was a bad idea because I got that. So, I just OTK'd this bitch. That's right. You heard me correctly. I just used the term OTK. And I am going to do it with her own card. That is the power of my six samurai. And it's fucking lovely. But anyway, so what I wanted to show here, I've been going through all of these challenge decks, and I'm probably, if I'm going to want to be a completionist about it, I'm probably going to have to go through and do it with the story decks too, but I don't really, I probably won't care about those. But so I have spent, I find this incredibly silly. I have easily spent over 1 million of the points on decks, right? So I have bought tons of those. I have gone through, I have now, I have beaten every single, like you see right here that I've beaten all of these, I have beaten every single story mode fight, I have beaten every single reverse story mode fight, every single challenge fight I have won throughout the entire thing, I've got, I've done them all. I have done all of them. And so to win those, you automatically get three cards out of every win, there are additional ones that I've grinded, blah blah blah. Point being, I have done all of this shit. Over a million points thrown into uh, battle packs, gone through all of these fights, won them all, and you can see in my deck list right here, it's getting more filled out. So all of these ones that don't have a number next to them are just pre-made decks. These are the decks that are already made in the story. I did not unlock a single one of these. I did not have the cards to actually use a single one of these without going through and grinding those fights for their specific cards in their decks. 1 million points. Actually, I take that back. I unlocked this dude's. That was it. His was the only deck that I unlocked normally just through doing all of that shit. Everything else has required specific grinding. Like, is it just me or is that kind of absurd? But so anyway, I just wanted to show that little bit off because I really enjoyed that. Uh, I really enjoyed that shit. I'm learning more and more as I go along. I'm learning more effectiveness. Uh, in regard to like tactics and things to do, you know, things that seem really, really strong uh, at the beginning. Like one thing that I, uh, you see, I still need to, uh, oh wait, no, this is Harpies. Uh, I still need to go through all of these and change some shit up. But so basically I put this guy in here. So let me actually show, oops, I have to hold it down. Bielza of the Diabolic Dragons. Now you see his effect. Cannot be destroyed by battle or co by card effects when you take damage from an attack involving this card or from an opponent's card effect. This card gains attack equal to the damage you took. So, let's just say, for instance, somebody pulls out a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on me, which has 4,500 attack. Attacks this card. Does 1,500 life points of damage to me. 
this card will then get 4500 attack the next turn and then i can actually attack that blue eyes ultimate dragon back destroy the blue eyes ultimate dragon and then this card will still be on the field with 4500 attack so i thought wow that is ridiculously strong it can't get it cannot be uh killed in battle or you know through card effects like mirror force dark hole all that stuff so i'm sitting here thinking wow this card is almost invincible that's an amazing card but it always comes down to a nuance right like a nuance of wording so a lot of the one of the first things uh that caught me a lot was when a card effect would say this happens you must target a normal monster and so i was just i don't know what i was thinking in regard to like normal but i just figured that would target anything that wasn't like you know this card or a level seven or eight card you know all that shit but normal monster literally means a monster that does not have an effect to it at all that's just the definition of a normal monster so there's a lot of just kind of nuances and wording that i get caught by a lot when i'm doing that and so here the nuances cannot be destroyed but there are a lot of cards out there that are like move this card somewhere to the graveyard to the deck to the hand uh equip this card to you and then like you gain their stats or something like that which is what vampire vamp one of my favorite cards that i use in my vampire deck does uh so there's a lot like you know initially thinking this card is super strong which granted it still is like i'm sure this would blow up a lot of decks that don't that aren't stacked with those kind of effects however one of the cards that i've been you know because i've been kind of rolling around looking you know into discussions surrounding Yu-Gi-Oh now and surrounding this game and stuff to figure a bunch of stuff out and one of the cards that I've seen the most of is this guy right here Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer and his effect you scroll down here you can attach two XYZ materials from this card then target one other face up card on the field shuffle it into the deck now from what I've heard people consider this like one of the best XYZ monsters because of that effect and because it's fairly cheap to use you only need two level four monsters to get that effect so you can potentially sacrifice two more or less useless level four monsters in order to get rid of a card like Beelza. and so as far as i'm aware like basically everybody runs this card <laughs> and so because of that this card hard counters Beelza, no problem like unless i have something to counter the effect which in my vampire deck right now i do not i don't have anything that counters effects so this card is incredibly good it's the same thing with vampire vamp like vamp, vampire vamp to me initially was this incredibly strong card because i could steal one of their cards equip it get their attack value to it and then thanks to that i would have this card with like 4,000 plus attack on my side and if that card got destroyed the equip card left but i would be able to get vampire vamp back and vampire vamps effect is that if you play another vampire card and they have another card on the field with you know more attack uh, that i can steal again as long as i play a vampire card i can activate that effect again so that was really strong to me but again this card right here which basically everybody uses hard counters that idea and so you know stuff like that that it really you got i gotta i gotta figure out and see you know something that seems initially super strong actually really is not all that great overall um so yeah so there's a bunch of stuff that i need to look into one thing that really bugs me now that i'm staring at this harpy deck um so you'll see right here obviously harpy lady uh when it comes to deck building let me just go over here real quick how do i space i thought i had a space this card right oh shit what are you doing go away fuck what the hell what was that that was weird okay so we're here cyber harpy lady you see her effect this card's name is always treated as harpy lady i cannot actually add this to my deck it says it right there it's not permitted to have more than three of this card in your deck this count includes other cards which are treated as having the same name so because i have these regular harpy lady ones i cannot have the cyber harpy lady in my deck that really irks me i'm not gonna lie and then the other thing too that uh oop, wrong one wrong one i'm assuming it's the same thing for like harpy lady two and three and whatnot let me just why do you keep doing that this card's name is always treated as harpy lady so yeah so like if i wanted to do one two three 
I'd be able to do that, but I don't really like an opponent's monster that battles this card can not declare an attack. Yeah, that sucks. Negate the effects of flip effect monsters this card destroys by battle. Yeah, that's, yeah, whatever. Nowhere near as effective and kind of just all around useful as her effect. So those are, but that really, and then again, I can't use her either, which I wouldn't really want to because she's just a very basic and honestly probably ineffective card but so because of that like i can't actually use these cards or the cyber harpy lady and that makes me super sad but again it's all the kind of stuff that you need to learn when you're trying to you know work on learning this uh entire thing learning the system learning the mechanics and all that stuff one thing that's also kind of gotten me a bunch that i'm still not 100 percent positive on but it's this fiendish chain so you activate it by targeting one effect monster on the field you negate that face up monster's effects and so I was thinking, apparently, it only works on, like, passive effects. So, like, if I equip, like, for instance, if I equip this to this Harpy Lady, then all wind monsters would no longer gain 300 attack. But it does not work, as far as I'm aware, either it's bugged or it just straight up doesn't work. Because there are some people who are saying, like, yeah, there are some bugs in this game. I'm not sure. I'm fairly certain I understand it, but there's always the possibility of a bug. Because that wording is a little ambiguous. It's not really definitive on what I'm thinking. Uh, but so like if I had this card right here, if I equipped it to this card, you can discard one Harpy card, special summon one Harpy monster from your deck in face-up defense position. That would not stop that effect because it's an activated effect. It only stops like passive effects because I actually got bodied <laughs> by uh, Seto Kaiba, his challenge deck, because he played a Maiden of the Blue Eyes. Right from the start, played a Maiden of the Blue Eyes in attack mode. So I was thinking, oh, I got this card just waiting for it. Fuck it. Let me throw that out there, and it disables the effect. And so I used it, disabled the effect, attacked. Oh, there's a blue eyes white dragon. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's not right. What the fuck? So, uh, yeah, it's, again, it's all like, even that, that's not a nuance in wording. Like, that's just something you straight up have to know. Like, that makes no real sense that it says, you know, negate that face up monster's effects. But it doesn't actually negate all of their effects. It only negates passive effects. So there's a bunch of little things like that too, which are kind of wearing on me a little. It's kind of it's kind of irritating me a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to talk. Mostly the entire point of this was for like the first two minutes where I showed off the uh, wonderful world of my six samurai deck. Also, can you see like just to kind of go back to that whole thing about how I bought so many decks? I have almost 5600 unique cards this, this is unique this is not uh let me just get rid of all this shit that's the wrong button that's the wrong thing this is all unique these are not like it doesn't count so like oh okay i technically have you know like 2000 cards and then most of them i have three of or whatever that is 5566 unique cards that i have right now and I still was not able to build a only that one deck, that Ayers Rock or whatever. That was the only one I was able to build, which is ridiculous. Despite the fact that I have all of these cards, it's... Oh, man, I cannot believe that. It, it bugged me. I'll freely admit, it bugged me a little bit. But it also proves like how ineffectual buying card packs is. Oh, this is limited to two? That's the first time I've seen a card that's limited to two and not just one. Uh, but yeah, anyway... My point being, if you want to build a deck and you're looking for a specific card, fuck trying to find them in the card packs. Like, card packs are just somewhere to spend your points when you have them. If you want to actually find a card, go find it in this deck list somewhere or go find, you know, where to find it online and then go fight the challenge decks because trying to actually find this shit normally uh, through the regular decks is absolutely absurd and very unlikely. And it really, bu that bugs me a little bit. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, I am going to do, I mean, like I said, you guys have uh, said you would like to see more online fights. And I will be doing those shortly. But I want to do just kind of like a little one video each of all my current decks right now. Just to kind of discuss them, talk about them, how they work, what they do. Do like, you know, a couple of just challenge fights with them to show them off a little bit. And then uh, I'll start actually going online with them. But till then, thank you for watching. Peace out.